Lent, preparing for Holy Week with scripture readings and reflections. Be with us, Lord, and have mercy. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is Wednesday of Holy Week. We will commemorate the intense drama of Jesus' passion when he is betrayed, and when he calls his disciples for the Passover meal. And then he announces that his appointed time draws near for the crucifixion, burial, and his resurrection from the dead. These actions bring us everlasting life, eternal life. Some time back, during Lent, while on a business trip, I attended Mass during which, in which a, a priest preached about the prodigal son. I felt or experienced something down deep within myself that I had never experienced previously. It was not fear, but whatever it was, I only felt that I wanted more of it. During the following weeks, I came to recognize that it was God's love that I had experienced. And I repented and openly stated that I no longer wanted to live my life the way I'd been living. Thus. I decided to follow Jesus. I had betrayed Jesus like Judas did, but God gave me another chance. Now I'm at peace with God, with others, and myself. Jesus calls us multiple times, such as in the Gospel of Mark. And he said, this is a time of fulfillment. The reign of God is at hand. Reform your lives and believe in the Gospel, end quote. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter are the now moments to repent and begin a new life in Christ Jesus the Lord. And when you do so, your life will never be the same. These Lenten scripture readings and reflections are looking forward to Holy Week when we commemorate the death and resurrection of the Lord. Save the link or bookmark the page you receive from the Faith Formation Office. Remember, join us every Wednesday and Friday.